So in this video, we're going to work on core breathing. So again, if we are in that right alignment like we talked about, all right, this is going to make that diaphragm's ability to work more efficiently. So make sure you're working on that proper alignment before we move into breathing, all right? So I'm going to lift my shirt here just so you can see for demonstration, all right? And it's a good idea for you to do this in the mirror until you get really good at working on your core breathing, all right? So when we breathe properly, we want to make sure that we fill your lungs up with air, okay? A lot of times is when we have that really shallow breathing, which does not allow that diaphragm to work as it should, all right? And it's a good, and again, we want to create a positive pressure system here, okay? So when it comes to intradominal pressure, that's the type of pressure we don't want, but we do want our diaphragm to work as it should, um, and we want to be able to contract our muscles as we should. And we only are able to do that if we're in good alignment, okay? So standing from the side here, we're going to take a deep breath in. When I take a deep breath in, you're going to my ribs come out, not flaring, but coming out and filling up with air. And then I'm going to exhale and bring it all together. And we're going to contract all of our muscles here in the breathing, all right? So watch me here. <clears throat> All right there. So again, as I was excelling and pushing the air through my lips, I was pulling my belly button in towards my spine. Then I was using all of my uh, TVA muscles, your transverse abdominus muscles, to pull in. That transverse abdominus muscles connects here from that ASIS that I talked about yesterday and connects to the back here of your spine. So that's your own personal corset. So that draws those two muscle bellies in together. All right. Then you're also going to next zip up and also connect with your pelvic floor while you're doing that exercise. So now I'm going to make a sound as I'm breathing out. And that's going to help draw and lift up that pelvic floor. So let's practice that as well. So I hope you all are practicing with me. All right, fill up with air. All right, ladies, your challenge of the day is to do that exercise pretty much all day long. If you're a good rep person, you want reps, 100 reps somewhere throughout the day, five here, five there, 10 there, 25, however you want to do it. But I want you practicing that exercise all day. So that means while you're brushing your teeth, while you're taking a shower, nursing the baby, driving to work, sitting at work, doing your um, work of the day at the desk where you're lifting, especially when you're lifting. Think about those muscles engaging and helping you, your powerhouse here helping you as you're doing any lifting. So that's lifting the babies, lifting groceries, lifting the trash. Think about engaging and using those muscles all day. That is really how you help close that gap and start healing your diastasis.